This week on Land Leader Television. This week on Land Leader Television, we head to Southern Colorado to see the expansive hunting mecca, Saruch Canyon Ranch. Next, we head back to Maine to see a profitable timber operation. And finally, we join Living the Dream to see the Arbor Way TT and Northwestern property. Let's check it out. We are the leaders of the land. Land is what we live on. It can be explored, built upon, and cultivated. Land holds our wildlife, crops, and livestock and the homes in which we live. It provides a resource for your family. It's what our forefathers settled and our brave fight to protect. It asks that you respect it, keep it free, and put back what you've taken. At times, it's purchased, sold, and traded, and it's passed on from generation to generation. So it's our duty as land brokers to be champions of conservation, habitat management, and ownership. We possess a deep love for our land and respect for all it provides. We are Land Leader. This segment is brought to you by Hayden Outdoors. I'm Tim Manning, and we're here at Saruch Canyon Ranch. We bought the property several years ago. Greg toured us around, just fell in love with all of the attributes that the ranch has, whether it be the Long Canyon, proximity to Trinidad, Colorado, and of course the gain. That's what really took our breath away the first time that we saw the property. So it's very unique and rare to be able to find the type of animals that are here at the Saruch Canyon Ranch. The amount of elk that we see in the resident herd that is here is second to none here in the state of Colorado. The mule deer presence is amazing. And then of course you've got turkey, bear, and other wildlife that just make it an amazing time when you're out here at the ranch. One of our goals when we first bought the property was to do several improvements that we felt would help add value to the game that's out here. One of the biggest uh, things that we've done is a canyon clearing. The Saruch Canyon Ranch has about six miles of canyon and we cleared about three and a half miles of that, which added a tremendous habitat for uh, the elk and mule deer. Second, a large improvement that we did was a complete exterior restoration to the log cabin house. Third, we added a uh, front entrance with old timbers. Those timbers uh, date back to the early 1900s. I love the varying terrain. You can make any turn and immediately you're seeing water or you're seeing food plots. We've got rolling hills and, and even steeper plateaus. We've got various areas to look out from a high vantage point over into the main canyon. The house here at the uh, Saruch Canyon Ranch is just such a warm and inviting place to be in the kitchen that flows into the main living room, being able to have a bunk room. The amenities here are just fantastic, but probably one of our more enjoyable features is the deck. Being able to hear the elk bugle over a cup of coffee is just incredible. With a stream that seems to run year round, we've got several ponds which seem to be just complete elk havens. The water out here is, is incredible. One of the features that we loved about this property is that we're just about a 20 minute drive into Trinidad, Colorado, which is really a fantastic town. The people in Trinidad are amazing. You feel so secluded here at the property, but to know that you're just 20 minutes away from Trinidad really makes it a win-win for us. Greg Little is phenomenal. I mean, he's a broker that you want to represent you. Back in 2011, turned us on to a ranch in southeastern Colorado, which we purchased and sold with Greg. We were able to buy this one together. He knows Colorado. He knows specifically Los Animas County. Greg and Hayden Outdoors have been phenomenal to work with. My name is Greg Little. I'm with Hayden Outdoors. Today we're at the Saruch Canyon Ranch. Trinidad, Colorado. It's comprising of approximately 5,900 deeded acres. I've been tasked with the pleasure of being the broker representing Sir Ridge Canyon. Very familiar with it. We'll start here with this custom log home, 3,600 square foot. Very private, has views of the Twin Peaks, but does not interrupt your hunting. Then you have an absolute sanctuary of 5,000 plus acres that surrounds you on every side. It has been managed for 
trophy Rocky Mountain bull elk documented on the property up to 15 year old bulls in the 380 category as well as mule deer well over the 200 inch mark. The Ridge Canyon is about as good as it's going to get. Very few ranches can annually produce a 350 class bull and a 200 inch mule deer. This ranch does it annually. We have done the improvements that we set out to do. We want other people to be able to experience and enjoy this property. We're very proud of the work that we've done here at the Sarooge Canyon Ranch. Look forward to uh, passing that on to future generations to enjoy. This portion of the show was brought to you by participating farm credit locations. It's about people far and wide, from coast to coast. The farmers, the ranchers, their cattle and crops, weekends in the woods, blueberries, peaches, a fishing pole, and your grandpa's rifle. Best friends, the love of your life, our children. It's about making this real. We've been financing your life for more than a century. We're Farm Credit. We're here to help you grow. Looking to sell your ranch or farm? Visit landleader.com to learn about our exclusive network of the best farm and ranch brokers across the country. Landleader member brokers are the leaders in their areas, representing the finest properties and providing their clients with the most property marketing in the nation. From ranches and farms to sporting properties and vacant land, we're the largest land marketing company in America. Give us a call or visit landleader.com today. Land Leader Television is brought to you by Land Leader, exclusive properties worldwide. Gunworks, 1,400 yards right out of the box. Cinch Jeans and Shirts, lead, don't follow. Banded, just go. And by participating farm credit locations. This segment is brought to you by Maine Outdoor Properties, Maine Outdoor Properties is showcasing a huge slice of the Northwoods. The Black Bear Timberlands is being offered with the Ashland Brook Forest as a huge timber opportunity. Let's take a look. I'm Brian Sowers, owner and president of Treeline Incorporated as well as the Maine Land Store. Maine Land Inc. is our land owning entity. I grew up in a small town in New York, got a love for the forest and the woods. I moved to Maine in 1977, got a job as a forester for International Paper Company. FIP to start my own company in 1981 with a chainsaw and a horse actually. Today we employ about 70 trained, highly professional forest workers. We own a lot of land ourselves. We do just about everything that goes on in the woods. Our Sabois Forest, that's a 1,540 acre parcel adjacent to the Sabois Town Road, also adjacent to the Sabois Stream. A lot of good forest management that's going on. We've been managing that land for quite a few years. We've got a lot of natural forests that we're working to thin and cultivate to grow into good mature forests. Ashland, where we have a fabulous, I think it's about an 800 acre piece with a lot of road frontage. It surrounds some beautiful potato fields. It's a property that we've, we've owned for several years. We've worked on it some. It's got a lot of potential, great markets right close by. This property has a lot of value and a great future. The purchasing of the Sepoys property is quite memorable. The previous owner was a, just a wonderful, wonderful individual. Lived down on Long Island and he was a real giver. Mike and I went down. In fact, we flew down. The previous owner picked us up. He had bought and owned that property to develop it as a retreat for people that had emotional stress and were in need of peace and quiet and therapy. So he had a real heart for uh, people and he was great to meet. Regarding Ashland, a couple winters ago, we had one week where we hit some record volumes. We delivered, I think, 100 loads of biomass chips into the Ashland power plant off that property uh, in six and a half days. So that was kind of fun. That was a company record. 
If you start with a mature forest, you're going to do some partial cuts to not only remove diseased and overmature trees, but you're also going to start advanced regeneration. Regeneration means the next forest is starting to grow. Then you can remove the mature forest carefully, and then you start working with that next generation, move into a semi-commercial thinning. These operations are generally seven or eight years apart to develop a stand in 40, 50, 60 years. We operate on a sustainable management basis, meaning there's always something ready to harvest, there's always something ready to thin or commercial cut. You know, we're basically farmers and our crop are trees and we're doing the same thing that farmers do. We've got a fabulous gravel esker that we've developed into a nice gravel pit. What's nice about this particular pit, certainly large in volume, there's hundreds of thousands of yards there, but it has a nice diversity of materials, make pretty much anything you want. We've got a really uh, excellent road system in place. The property is probably 75 to 80 percent accessible by year-round road, and that gravel pit was instrumental in us being able to do that. The Savoy Stream is a really nice trout stream, navigable by small fishing boat, canoe, kayak. Chance to put a small boat into the stream right there on our property, and that feeds into the Piscataquis River, which then feeds into the Penobscot, which feeds the Atlantic Ocean hunting on these properties. Of course, Sabois is set up beautifully with Peter Connor and Pleasant River Guide Services. He does such a wonderful job there to manage the property from a hunting standpoint. He's had very good success and they've taken quite a few black bear off that property. The white-tailed deer uh, population is growing right now. Up in Ashland, very similar. Both of these properties are surrounded by tens and tens and tens of thousands of acres of managed forest. Peter Connor with Pleasant River Guide Service out of Sebec, Maine. You don't have to just rely on this property for animals to be on it. You can draw them to this property and they can live on all the surrounding property. Oh, okay. So there's got to be an extra, what, 40,000 acres around you. If you looked at a map and saw the, saw the actual overhead area, mm -hmm. where this property backs up, the road system for the other property stops. So going out to the uh, north uh, west of it, yeah. It, nobody has access to that. This property really has everything. And one of the big things is fishing. That's a great trout stream. There's ducks and geese in it all the time yeah. too. So Mike and I go back 20, 25 years. We're just talking about that. Mike's a real pro himself. He's probably one of the most knowledgeable land guys that I know. He actually helped me buy this property years ago when we bought it. Um, he's helped me buy other properties, helped us sell some properties. He's a straight shooter, great guy, and he knows the forest. I should add about Mike, one of the reasons he knows the forest so good is because he's worked in the forest. I think he told me he cut his first tree with a chainsaw when he was about seven. He's been in the woods ever since. Mike Cole, I work with Maine Outdoor Properties at a Realty of Maine in Bangor. We focus mainly on recreational land, waterfront, kind of the heart of Maine type stuff. This is really the focus on what we do. It's land, timber, just kind of the best of what Maine has to offer. My family's been in timber since uh, the late 1800s, five generations now. I've been in the woods since seven or eight years old. We'd like to take care of the land, and the land takes care of us. We're over in Seboas. It's a beautiful piece. It's not just a timber property. It comes with a resident hunting guide attached to it. It's got a great road system. It's really a special property. It's a well-maintained forest. It's been timberland active and managed for quite a long time. So when you have a piece of ground like that, you've already got tree plantations that are 20 years along. You've got so much mature wood that's ready to go now, and you've got stuff that's available for later, and you're always making money off that property. Not only you have the hunting and fishing, but there's over 14,000 miles of marked trails in Maine. This listing is really a timberland portfolio. We have the Ashland piece and the Saboas piece offered together. Ashland is a really good timber property, but it also has a great moose and deer population up there. 760 acres bisected by a good road with power, so it's great opportunity if you wanted to put hunting cabins or anything you wanted to put on there. If you're a hunter or even timberland investing or even if you just wanted to build your dream home, Ashland is a great spot. These properties are being offered individually and collectively. It's fine if somebody wants to buy one or the other, or we certainly would love to work with a buyer that would like to own both of them. Owner financing is a possibility for certain clients. We'd be willing to talk about that. Savoy is just a fabulous property, and I think in today's market, it makes sense to, to make it available to others. In Ashland, Ashland is 100 miles from our home base. It's just a little bit out of our normal operating range. I think that makes perfect sense to put that on the market right now. Our great hope would be to find a buyer that would be interested in using our services to continue to manage the property. We really love this property and it has a great future. Myself and our forest management team would really enjoy being able to work with the next owner and bring all the work that we've done to fruition. We hope that we can build some new relationships that are really good for everybody. This portion of the show was brought to you by Cinch Jeans and Shirts. 
Lead, Don't Follow, and by Gunworks, 1,400 yards right out of the box. The Climber, a new ultralight design by Gunworks. The Climber is the pinnacle of lightweight, long-range design. Design yours at gunworks.com. Check out the Highlander pattern, available at Cryptech.com. Welcome to the Middle Fork Ranch. Over 3,000 acres of high mountain meadows, meandering river bottoms, and amazing vistas of Colorado's Rocky Mountains. This historic ranch is now for sale and includes seven miles of world-class gold medal fishing on the South Platte River, cattle grazing ranch land, diverse hunting for big game and convenient location, just two hours from Denver, near the town of Fairplay. Contact Dax Hayden today or learn more at HaydenOutdoors.com. The following segment is brought to you by Living the Dream. Let's head to Missouri with Living the Dream to tour the Arbor Way TT, a Northwestern Miniature Railroad offering, which features a fully working railway station with track that runs through the entire property. My dad had a vision, and that vision was to create and build a miniature train railroad. It is quite spectacular, and there is nothing like it in the continental U.S. I'm Julie Woods Hill. We're down here in beautiful southern Missouri at Woods Valley Farm, my family farm, about 1,900 acres located in the Ozarks. We have about four and a half miles of the upper Merrimack River, known for its blue ribbon trout. A little bit of history about Woods Valley Farm. My father, John Woods, inherited property from his grandfather added three or four distinctive properties along the Merrimack River to create 1,900 acres of a beautiful conserve. My grandfather, Woodson K. Woods, donated the 5,600 acres of conservation property to the west boundary of our property at Woods Valley Farm. So it encompassed the whole area located off Highway 8 on the south side and the upper Merrimack River on the north side. I met Daryl at Live in the Dream through friends of mine. Daryl knows more about the area than anyone I know. He knows more about the property and the properties around. So I'm very happy that he has joined us with this process. I'm D.W. Heinemann, broker owner of Living the Dream Outdoor Properties. Today we're in Missouri at Woods Valley Farm and it's spectacular. 1,910 acres. It's got its own railroad track and four and a half miles of Merrimack River frontage with some of the best rainbow trout, brown trout, and smallmouth bass fishing you're going to find. At Woods Valley Farm, one of the coolest things was John Woods' dream of owning his own railroad. There is over five miles of miniature railroad track here. It is one of the largest privately held miniature railroads in North America and he did a great job. We got a steam engine, we got all kinds of different trains, passenger trains, two tunnels, uh, their own tunnels with ventilation. It is one of a kind, truly a one of a kind piece of property. My father and my grandmother built the Arbor Way Railroad throughout the middle of our property at Woods Valley Farm. Five miles of track was laid. It's been kept up very well through the years. It has two to three tunnels. We have a train station with a three-level train depot with all the memorabilia of different types of train, pictures of building the train at our farm. I mean, it's very, it's very well done. 
The different buildings that go into housing the train are just as important as having a train. We've got a full-scale area to work on the trains. We also have the train depot, the train barns where we hold the cars, and then we have the roundhouse, which is very important. A big old steam engine that was custom built for my father and grandmother. It's quite unique to watch that run. So it's, it's quite a wonder and it's quite beautiful. This portion of the show was brought to you by Land Leader, exclusive properties worldwide. Are you experienced in farming, ranching, or recreational properties? Do you have a passion for the outdoors? Are you seeking a profession in real estate and land sales? If so, Land Leader is growing our team of real estate brokers and agent members across the country. We offer a strong network, excellent property marketing support, real estate training, and national affiliation of land brokerages that is second to none. For more information on becoming a member of Land Leader, visit us at landleader.com. Here at Swarovski Optic, a lot of time is spent on perfecting a few great things until every idea we touch enhances every moment in the field. For a quarter century, the Swarovski Optic SLC has been making hunters' dreams become reality. Feel the wilderness every time you step outside. The following segment is brought to you by Living the Dream. The original property value for my father was hunting for his friends. And my father built that property through the years to be a hunting paradise. Conservation was very, very important through quality deer management. My dad had a QDMA nine point buck or higher rule. Kept our herds thriving. So we have quite a feast of wildlife. The upper Merrimack River is fed right above our property and we have four and a half miles of riverfront all the way through. The river access is second to none. Hi, I'm Bill Cooper from St. James, Missouri. I'm a member of the National Freshwater Fishing Hall of Fame and we're out in the Missouri Ozarks today doing a little fly fishing. The Merrimack River is one of several red ribbon trout areas in the state of Missouri. Rainbow or brown trout. But also, there's one of my very favorite fish, the smallmouth bass, that exists here as well. And the Merrimack River happens to be my favorite. Right where I'm standing right now is uh, kind of the middle of the upper portion of the Merrimack River. And I'm fishing off the Woods Valley Farm. The Woods family bought properties here a long time ago, and they've got a rich history in this area. The biggest rainbow I ever caught was in this stretch, 19 inches, and a beautifully colored fish. This is a great place to be if you're wanting a trout fish or smallmouth bass fish, either one. It's great fishing. And if you ever make it down here, you too are gonna be living the dream. Our property has fully furnished four houses, a lodge, a cabin, a caretaker's home, a rock house, we call it. So we've got plenty of room for families, for hunters, and all kinds of people that want to spend time on a beautiful piece of property. It's very unique. Every season around the farm is beautiful. We have several big barns um, all over the property. We also have another house over at the very front of the farm off Highway 8. My father wanted easy access to the property. Most of the access roads at Woods Valley Farm are well kept and have been graded constantly for weather. My dad spent a lot of time improving the road systems within Woods Valley Farm so they were accessible to most vehicles. 
Here at the farm, you have your own train depot building. It's three stories with a spiral staircase, several large outbuildings and barns and pole barns. You have two caretakers houses, a lodge, a, a log cabin, along with a lake house. There's several lakes that have bass, largemouth, walleye. So the farm overall has a lot of improvements and a lot to offer here in mid-Missouri. We come down to Woods Valley Farm to relax, to hang out, to get up when we want to get up, to see a sunrise and just look at the beauty and the wildlife and just be in the country. I think that's the biggest part that I will miss on Woods Valley Farm. We call this property a legacy property and we feel that what's most important through the Woods name is to pass it along to another family that can care for it and can create new memories with both hunting, fishing, riding the train, camping, everything that's involved in the beautiful area that the farm is located. For more information on how to feature your property on Landleader TV, please visit landleader.com. Use the hashtag powered by Landleader to be entered to win our prize.